Hey everybody, it's Marshall Monk here. This is going to be something different. This is going to be my Supergirl Season 1, Episode 5 review and rundown. Now, this is actually, the reason why I'm saying this is because last night's episode was actually Episode 5. But, Episode 4, they decided to postpone till next week because it had some things in there that would have, um, you know, I, I'm not going to explain it. Just if you want to, you know, I don't wanna really want to talk about that right now. Um... Actually, we will. Okay, so the reason why they're po po I can't even talk. The reason why they're postponing it is because it's an episode where Kara has to deal with these bombings that are going around National City, and we've just had this devastating attack, you know, in the world right now, so we don't really need... I guess CBS just thought maybe they should just hold it off till later on and... You know, you know what I mean? So we've had this devastating thing going on, so they didn't want to, you know, associate and put this on, you know, last night because it hasn't... It's just, you know, there was something happened and they wanted to postpone it. So they postponed episode 4 and switched it with episode 5, which is this episode, the Livewire one. Um, I'm not really that, like, I'm not against that, like, switching the episodes. Um, as long as they don't have anything that, like, could be crazy. Like, for instance, if you switch, like... Gotham episode nine, 8 with episode 9, that wouldn't make any sense. So, obviously, Supergirl was different to whereas they didn't have too much that was going on, so they just switched them, so that's, it's still a good thing. Um, but yeah, this episode was really great, so this is gonna be episode 5, so I'll do episode 4 next week, and then just add them both to the playlist after that, so you know what I mean? So I'll just do a season, episode 5 right now, and episode 4 next week, so yeah, uh, let's get started. This episode had to do with Livewire, we got to see the origin of Livewire. I loved this because Livewire is one of the characters we all knew from Batman Animated Series, or what, or which one was she on? Was she on the Animated Series or was she on... I can't remember which one she was on. I'm pretty sure she might have been on the new Batman Adventures, or the new Adventures of Batman. I can't tell which one's which. I always get those mixed up. But the anime, the the other animated Batman show with, like, Tim Drake and all that stuff. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called The New Batman Adventures. I'm not really sure. But I remember that. And so, I can't remember which one Livewire was on. I think she was just on Batman Animated Series. But anyway, we got to see live-action Livewire, and I loved it. Because CBS, you know, Supergirl has a way bigger budget than, you know, a lot of the other shows. And so they, the effects looked amazing with Livewire, so I loved it. Now, let's talk about it. So, basically... Biggest story from Little Story, the live wire origin, and also some mommy issues going on with both Cat Grant and Kara. So let's talk about it. So basically, Leslie, who we, uh, you know, Leslie Willis, who is Livewire, is trashing Supergirl. She's constantly trashing Supergirl on the airwaves. And this is another thing that actually ties into the feminism of the show. It's like, well, what's going on right now with, like, every celebrity in the world right now? Like, Selena Gomez and Amy Schumer and all these people that are just, like, telling off the haters. Because there's a lot of haters out in the world that have been body shaming a lot of people. And they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna take up with it, which is good. So, I'm loving that. So, basically, it's kind of the same thing that's tying in with the whole feminism thing. Which I'm liking because this, this is real world problems tying into Supergirl. Like, it's, it's a real big thing. Um, and especially, like, all the jokes that they're using as well, like, Cat Grant talking about the Kardashians, or Katy Perry in this episode, it's like the real, it's just, it's like real world stuff going on in the show, because Arrow, The Flash, Gotham, all those shows don't really talk about that, so, mainly because Gotham's, like, 80s, and, like, Arrow and Flash are too busy, I don't know, but Supergirl always finds a way to weave in real world problems into their episodes, which is really cool, but anyway... Kat tells Leslie that she's transferring her because of what she's been doing, and that she's transferring her to the, um, helicopter, to the helicopter patrol, or whatever, I don't remember what it was actually called, but anyway, they go up in this helicopter, her and the pilot do, and the, into the storm, and the storm goes crazy, so Supergirl, or Car, whatever you want to say, saves the pilot, then goes up to save the helicopter, but then conducts, like, the electricity shoots Kara, conducts it into, like, Leslie, turns her hair all blue and crazy and whatnot, and so she turns into live wire. And so basically she saves the helicopter from crashing, but, and then she gets Leslie into the hospital. Now after that, Leslie gets all cray-cray with her new blue hair and the Katy Perry joke, and then ends up coming back as live wire with her new powers, and it gets insane. And basically wants to get revenge on, I guess, both Supergirl and Cat, Cat Grant. Um, now, the reason why she turned into Livewire was because Hank Henshaw actually gave us the explanation. Is because Kara, of course, is an alien. She's radioactive. She has all this stuff going on. And it transfers into lightning into Leslie. So that's why she got her powers as Livewire. So, yeah. Um, but basically, it ends up going on to Catco Media in the building. Where Livewire just goes cray in the computer screens and just comes out. I'm lucky enough they're using like pretty much the powers of Livewire because... 
I don't think Aaron the Flash would have made her, like, if they did live wire, I don't think they would have made her do the whole teleportation thing through electricity. Maybe they would have, I don't know. But it seems like Supergirl did it really well. I love live wire in this episode. Like, she was just on point, and she did really well. But anyway, she comes out of the uh, screens, and then she tries to take down Cat Grant, and then Supergirl comes in. She comes save, try to save Cat Grant, and it gets all cray because their fight scene was incredible. I loved how they did the fight scene this episode. Like, all of the fight scenes are getting a little bit better with Supergirl, mainly because this is episode 5, not episode 4. So I feel like episode 4 will be a letdown next week because we might not get what we got in this episode. Because this one probably beat out every episode of Supergirl so far, so just saying. And then, like I said, uh, Leslie gets taken down with the help of uh, Hank Henshaw's technology and the D.O. And then gets taken down. I, only actually, no, Kara actually take, takes down uh, Leslie with water, with like a big water pipe. So actually, no, I take that back. Not with the technology from the D.E.O. Her wits, her wits and her x-ray vision help save the day, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so let's talk about what's going on on the sidelines with the mommy issues. So Kara has some big issues with her mother this episode, or I guess her foster mother, you could say. Her foster mother comes and back, which is Eliza. I'm glad that we're seeing them again, because it's really fun. Like, we only got a taste of them in the first episode, so now we're seeing them again. Her and her foster dad. Um, so, or, or Kara's foster mom and foster dad. So basically she comes back, and she always gets on to Alex because of just that whole... You know, it, it was this big thing in the episode where we actually got to see some flashbacks. I'll talk about that. So the flashbacks we saw that Kara and, um, uh, Alex, I almost forgot the name. Kara and Alex actually go flying together and then they come back and they get in big triple. But, um, Hank Henshaw arrives, which I'll talk about in a second. I'll talk about that, like, the final little story. Um, and basically what goes on there is that... They, they've grew up together and they've had some times, and so once her foster mother comes back, she finds out, you know, she knows that she's Supergirl, and, um, and she doesn't know that Alex is a DEO agent, so it gets a little, it gets a little hairy in there, and then that's when Wynn comes over, we got, we got to see him in, like, the whole Thanksgiving mix for the Thanksgiving dinner that they had, and it was really funny because, basically, Alex kind of got drunk a little bit, so it's a kind of like, it was a fun, like, it was a fun scene, like a fun family, you know, scene, even though it wasn't like a big family or anything, it's like, Wynn was there, and it was really fun, and Carl tried to keep the peace, and it just didn't work out that way, and so, it, re it got really fun, it got really fun. Also, like, we're also gonna talk about Cat Grant's little story that she, uh, kind of put out there, about her mother pushing her, and that how she pushed Leslie, and that's why she became Livewire, um, which is really cool. So yeah, there was this whole, like, mom thing that went throughout the episode, and it was really cool to see that as well. Um, but anyway, let's talk about, actually, let's talk about, um, Jimmy Olsen. He wasn't really in this episode as much. James wasn't. He was with Lucy Lane out in Ojai, or whatever they said. I don't even remember what they said. Like, I can't remember. I can't remember the name, the, the town that they were in, but the city. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever they were in, they were out of town. So, James wasn't really in this episode as much. But, anyway, let's talk about the final story, which is, um, Hank Henshaw stuff and what's going on in the flashbacks and in present day. So basically, Hank Henshaw has been lying this whole time about a D.E.O., and now Alex and Supergirl are no, like, know about it. So basically what's going on here is that the D.E.O. came to take Kara away, and Hank Henshaw was there, and, like, I was thinking, if Alex is, like, around the age of, like, 20s, Hank Henshaw's probably in his, like, 30s, maybe, 40s, wouldn't he be, like, younger? I don't maybe, I don't know. Wouldn't he be younger? I don't know, I can't tell, like, what would he be younger or not? I think he'd be, like, way younger, wouldn't he? Because, like, Alex is, like, isn't Alex, like, close to his age or something? I don't know, maybe not. I don't know. But I know he'd be a little bit younger than that. Like, I don't think he'd be that. Look, he, they, he looks just the same as he was years ago. I can't, I don't know. He's, I don't know if he would be younger or not. Because it, it depends on how old he is. Like, he's, like, 50 in the present day and, like... I don't know, 30-something in, like, the flashbacks? I don't know. I can't tell what it is. But he... I know something's up. So something's up with that in the flashbacks. And he's, like, just... He wanted to take Kara, and then her foster parents wouldn't let her. So, in trade, her foster dad ended up going instead. And, you know, trading in secrets with Super, with Superman's... You know, he knew everything about Superman and gave the facts to the DEO and worked for them. But he died, and supposedly... And might have something to do with Hank Henshaw. Now, a lot of people are saying that this could lead on to, like, a lot of people are thinking that either he's Hank Henshaw, like, the real Hank Henshaw, and he's actually has some kind of Kryptonian DNA or something going on with him, 
or he's Martian Manhunter. That would kind of explain, like, if he was Martian Manhunter, that would probably explain the whole aging thing. Because, like, wouldn't he be younger? I don't know. I don't know. I'm so dumb sometimes about this kind of stuff. Like, wouldn't he be... Unless he's, like, 50, and then he's, like, 30 in the flashbacks. But if he's, like, close to Alex's age, he'd be way younger. I can't tell. But that would add on to the Mar Martian Manhunter theory. I definitely don't think that he's Martian Manhunter. Because even though Martian Manhunter can take the shape of Hank Henshaw, he can't take on personality. I'm like, Martian Man Manhunter is a very proper and very, like... You know, if you ever watch Justice League, you can tell, like, what Martian Manhunter is. He doesn't have personality. And when Hank Henshaw... Hank Henshaw has so much personality in this show. So I can kind of... I'm kind of leaning towards this, just the whole Kryptonian DNA thing. Although, I've actually wanted Martian Manhunter to be in the whole DC TV thing. Because the movies aren't even using him. So, like, can you imagine what Martian Manhunter would look like in a movie budget? So this is the next best thing. So I feel like if he wasn't there, I would not be disappointed by that. And then we, like, find the real Hank and Shaw some other time. But anyway, that's all we're going to talk about this week. I think I covered everything uh, really good. I don't know. If I didn't, I'll just include it in the next Monkey Updates. That's going to be tomorrow. Or I guess, wait. Yeah, tomorrow. This is the next Monkey Updates. Um, so, yeah. But you can go up there to see all my Supergirl vids. I'm not going to add this uh, video to the playlist yet because I'm going to do episode 4 next week and then add both of them after that video. So, like, episode 4 and then 5 so they're not out of order. If that makes sense, I guess. I don't know. Um, then comment down below what you guys thought of this episode. Did you like Livewire? Was she really cool? I, I really liked Livewire. She was pretty cool. Um, and, uh, yeah. And also comment down below what other characters you'd like to them to make, to put on TV. Um, like Martian Manhunter. Would you like Martian Manhunter in the shows? Or, like, what characters that aren't in the movies would you like in the TV shows? Um, so yeah, Gotham's next. I'm gonna post my Gotham video later. Um, a lot of stuff that happened in that episode as well, so yeah. Other than that, thanks guys for watching. Like and favorite this video, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.